Okay, so welcome to Latham Science Academy classes. And starting with question one of exercise 10.2, which says that there is a point Q from where the length of the tangent to the circle is 24 centimeter and the distance of a Q from the center is 25 centimeter. So let's say this is a circle. Yeah. So there is a point Q and from Q, the length of the tangent. So let's say this is the tangent from this circle, from this point Q to the circle. So it goes like this. And if O is the center of the circle, then so this length of the tangent to the circle is 24 centimeter. So let's say it's P is the point of contact and this distance is 24 centimeter. Now the distance of Q from the center. So the distance of this Q from the center is 25 centimeter. So this is 25 centimeter. Okay, now let me join the, also the, we have to find the radius of the circle. So let's say this radius joins the point of contact P. So this is the radius of the circle. Now <clears throat> we have to find the radius that is the OP. And we know that this OP is perpendicular to PQ. The reason being radius is perpendicular to tangent at the point of contact okay so that means this is perpendicular so this makes our triangle right angle so triangle opq is it's right angled at p so what is right angled at p we can use the pythagoras theorem so if we use the pythagoras theorem that will help us to find the radius of the circle. So next to the right angle is the hypotenuse. So Pythagoras theorem says h square is equal to p square plus b square. Our hypotenuse is OQ. So it's OQ square perpendicular can be either of the other two sides. OP square plus PQ square. OQ is 25. OP is, we have to find it out. PQ is 24 square. So now 25 square is 625 and 24 square is 576. So let's just confirm it. And eight is 576. So it's four, so it's 576. And OP square is now 625 minus 576 which gives me 5, 15 minus 6 is 9, 11 minus 7 is 4. So OP squared is 49 and OP is root of 49. So that should be 7 centimeter. So correct option is A and that solves our question number 1 of exercise 10.2. Thank you for watching. This is for question number two, exercise 10.2. And it says that in this figure, obviously, PP and TQ are two tangents drawn from an external point T. And angle POQ is 110 degree. We have to find angle PTQ. So this is the angle. We have to find angle PTQ. What is the measure of this angle PTQ. Okay, now uh, we all know that the OP is perpendicular to PT and OQ is perpendicular to QT. Reason being radius, OP and OQ are radius and we know that radius is, and these are the points of contact. So radius is perpendicular to tangent at the point of contact. So that means 
angle P is equal to angle Q is equal to 90 degree each. And now we can easily find out the angle T using the angle sum property for the quadrilateral OPDQ. So in we say in quadrilateral OPDQ angle P this one plus angle PTQ that we have to find out angle Q plus angle POQ which is given. All these makes up to 360 degree and that is the angle sum property of a quadrilateral. Angle P is 90 degree. PTQ we have to find out angle Q is 90 degree. Angle POQ is 110 degree. So it's 90 plus 90 is 180 and 180 plus 110 makes it 290. So our angle P PQ is equal to 360 minus 290. So 360 minus 290 is 16. It's 7. It's 70. So 70 degree is the measure of angle PTQ. So our option is option B. So that sums up question number two. Thank you for watching. Okay, so welcome to Pratham Science Academy classes. And sorry, so for exercise 10.2, it's question number three. And it says if tangents PA and PB from a point P to a circle with center O are inclined to each other at an angle of 80 degree. So this means that there is a circle and Tangents PA and PB from point P, so this is point P, and we know that from external point we can draw only two tangents to the circle. So let's say this is the first tangent, and this is the second one. So these tangents are PA and PB, namely. Uh, so this is the circle with center O. And these are inclined. So these are inclined at this angle. So this angle is 80 degree and we have to find POA. So POA will be formed when we join O to P and O to A. So this is the angle that we have to find out. So let's join this points O and Q as well. Okay, so to find the POA, so this angle P is given. So first of all, OA and OB are the radius and PA and PB are the tangents. So OA is perpendicular to PA and OB is perpendicular to PB. This PA and PB are tangents and OA and OB are radius. And we know that the radius is perpendicular to tangent at the point of contact. So that means angle A is equal to angle B, both are 90 degree each. So these are 90 degree each. Now we have to find angle POA. So this is the angle that we know and let's consider these triangles so these triangles uh in triangle let's say poa and a triangle pob so our approach will be to find this angle so that we already know this angle we can use the angle sum property and get this angle so i'm going to find this angle this is angle opa and for this i'm going to prove that these two triangles are congruent this can be easily proved because angle a is equal to angle b is equal to 90 degree and pa is equal to pb because these are the tangents drawn from an external point and we know that 
the length of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. So P is equal to PB, angle A is equal to angle B is equal to 90 degree, P is equal to PB and OP is equal to OP is common. So that means this is a right angle triangle, this is a hypotenuse. So this is a right angle triangle, this is a right angle, this is a hypotenuse, this is a side. So that means triangle POA is congruent to triangle POB by RHS congruent to Okay, if they, they are congruent, then this angle OPA and OPB should be equal. So angle OPA is equal to angle OPB, reason being they are corresponding parts of congruent triangles. But angle OPA plus angle OPB makes it 80 degree. Because both these are equal, so instead of OPA, I can write OPB, sorry. I can write OPA. And that makes up two times angle OPA is equal to 80 degree and angle OPA is equal to 40, 40 degree. <clears throat> so angle OPA is 40 degree. So this angle is 40 degree and now we can easily find, so sorry, this angle is 40 degree and now we can easily find out, found, find out the, <clears throat> sorry, the required angle. So this angle was 40 degree now we have to find this angle so we can use the angles of property in triangle o p a so in this triangle that is in triangle o p a angle p a o plus angle o p a so p a o plus o p a plus angle this POA angle POA is 180 degree so that is because of the angle sum property of a triangle now PAO is 90 degree angle OPA is 40 degree and POA we have to find it out so 90 plus 40 is 130 and <clears throat> POA is 180 minus 130 that gives us 50 degree. So 50 degree that is the first option. So this is the correct option for this. And this solves our question number third. Do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Right, so for question number four, we have to prove that the tangents drawn at the ends of a diameter of a circle are parallel. So let's see, this is our circle. And they are tangents drawn at the ends of the diameter. So if O is the circle center of the circle let's say who is the center of the circle and say a b is the diameter <clears throat> let me draw the diameter first so let's say this is the diameter and it's going through the center of the circle this is the center o and we have to do draw two, ta two tangents at the ends of the diameter so this is the end of the diameter let's say it's a and b so these are the two ends of the diameter and from here let me draw one tangent let's say this is the tangent one and this is the tangent two let me draw them 
closer so this is the tangent 2 and so these are the two tangents drawn at the two ends of the diameter and we have to prove that both these two tangents are parallel so this is p q and this is r and s so we have to prove that pq is parallel to rs now <clears throat> who says that now oa is radius and pq is tangent so oa is radius and pq is tangent and we know that radius is perpendicular to tangent so oa is perpendicular to pq because radius is perpendicular to tangent the radius is perpendicular to tangent at the point of contact similarly <coughs> this ob is radius and rs is tangent so that means ob is perpendicular to rs because once again radius is perpendicular to tangent at the point of contact okay now so because these are perpendicular so that means that this angle oap is 90 degree and angle obs angle obs is also 90 degree so that means angle op oap give me a moment Okay, sorry. So, so angle OAP is 90 degree, angle OB is 90 degree, and which means that these two angles are equal to each other. So, I can write angle OAP is equal to angle OBS, and this angle OAP, this OAP can be written as BAP. So, I can write it as BAP is equal to angle OBS can be written as ABS so this is abs but these angles are so these are alternate angles for lines for tangents pq and rs for pq and rs and ab is a transversal and we know that when alternate interior angles are equal so if we know that if alternate angles are equal then lines are parallel so therefore that means pq is parallel to rs so that means the tangents drawn at the ends of the diameter are parallel and that's how we can prove it so that's also question number four Thanks for watching. Do like, share, and subscribe. Okay, so sorry for question number five. We have to prove that the perpendicular at the point of contact to the tangent to a circle it passes through the center. And this means that if there is a circle, let's say this is our circle, and we have to prove that perpendicular at the point of contact to the tangent. So let's say this is 
and let me draw a tangent to the circle. Let's say this is the tangent to the circle and name of this tangent B A B and let's say O be the center of the circle. <coughs> so perpendicular at the point of contact to a circle passes to the center. We have to prove that this the point of contact if it's P and this is perpendicular, so it passes through the center O. That is the perpendicular at the point of contact this the tangent passes to the center O. So it's given that OP is okay, so it's given that it's perpendicular, OP is perpendicular to A B. And we have to prove that it passes through the center. So let's say it's OP or let's say it's PX. So let's say this is the PX and this is X. So it passes through the center O. We have to prove that OP, uh, let's say it's not OP, but it XP. XP is perpendicular to AB and we have to prove that XP it passes so this passes to center of we have to prove that in this XP <coughs> so let's Try to prove this, and for this, it's given that this is the perpendicular, so that means that uh, it's given that x p is perpendicular to a b, so that means that angle x p b is equal to ninety degree. Okay. It's given, and now we have to prove that it passes through center. So let's say there is another line that passes through the center and let's say it's P X dash that passes through the center. So let's say this is P X dash, P X dash and it passes through the center. So if it passes through the center, let me do like this. Let P X dash passes center O. Now if P X dash passes through center O, so that means that this should be perpendicular we know, because we know that the radius, the one that passes through the center is the radius and radius is always perpendicular to the tangent. So if P X dash passes through center O, that means X dash P is perpendicular to AB. And now if X dash P is perpendicular to AB, that means x dash pb is equal to 90 degrees so let's say this is our equation one this is equation two so if px dash passes through center o then x dash p is perpendicular to ab because radius is perpendicular to tangent at point of contact okay now from one and two it gives me that angle XPB is equal to angle X dash PB, both equal to 90 degree. Now, through one point P, there cannot be two angles through same point, which can be 90 degree. So this is possible only when X and X dash coincide. So this, is because for, uh, from the same point we cannot have two different angles so from the same point if if we have from this point p if this is also 90 degree and this is also 90 degree this is not possible it's possible only when both of these coincide so this is possible only when x and x dash coincide and when x and x dash coincide, because we assume that x dash p is perpendicular to the is is it this passes to the center. So this mean this means that 
this the perpendicular to the tangent passes to the center so this implies perpendicular to the tangent it passes to center of center that's all so the question number five do like share and subscribe thank you for watching for us for question number six uh, we have to find the length of a tangent from a point a so let's say this is point a and from this point a that is at a distance of five centimeter from the center of the circle so this is the center of the circle o and this point's distance from the center of the circle is five centimeter and the length of the tangent so if i draw a tangent to this circle let's say it's p so this is p the length of a tangent from a point a that is at a distance of five centimeter from the circle so this is the distance five centimeter from the center of the circle and length of the tangent is four centimeter so this is four centimeter and we have to find the radius of the circle so if let's join this point of contact with o so we have to find this the radius of the circle so op is what we have to find okay now what's given to us is pa is four centimeter and distance of the point from the center of the circle is five centimeter and now op is radius so op is radius and pa is tangent so that means angle o p a is 90 degree as the radius is perpendicular to tangent at the point of contact okay so that means this is a right angle triangle so we can this help help us to use the we will use the Pythagoras theorem in this right angle triangle. So in this right angle triangle OPA, which is right angle at a P, if we use this, the Pythagoras theorem, so Pythagoras theorem says X square is equal to P square plus B square and so this hypotenuse is OA, so this is OA square and the perpendicular is OP square plus base is PA square. So OA is 5, so it's 5 square and OP is 4, so it's 4 square PA square. So this gives me PA square is 25 minus 16, that's 9 so pa is root of nine so that gives me it's three centimeters so pa is three centimeter sorry uh we have put in the values incorrectly it's not what we have to find we have to find op so op we have to find and pa pa is four centimeters so it's four square so this is op that we have to find so that means OP square is 25 minus 16, that's 9. And OP is root of 9, that's equal to 3 centimeters. So anyway, it's the same answer because we will be have to subtract okay. the square of the hypotenuse from the other side. So that shows the radius of this circle is 3 centimeters. Centimeter. So that solves question number 6. Do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Okay, so for question number seven, there are, it says that there are two concentric circles of radii five centimeter and three centimeter. 
and the concentric circles are the circles with common center. So one is the bigger one and the other with a small radii, three centimeters. So let's say these are our concentric circles with common center O. And <clears throat> we have to find the length of the chord of the larger circle, which touches a smaller circle. So there's a chord of the larger circle, let's say it's AB, and it touches a smaller circle at B. So we have to find the length of the chord, that is we have to find the length of AB. So, and it's also given that the radii of the a larger circle set. So this is the radii of the larger circle. This is the radii of the smaller circle. Okay, so radii of the larger circle is five centimeter and the radii of the smaller circle is three centimeter. So it's given that, let me just write down what is given. So AB is chord of circle. with radii 5 centimeter which is a uh, tangent to the circle of radius 3 centimeter it's not radii it's the radius 5 centimeter okay so now <laughs> We have to find the length of the chord. So to find its AB, we have to find the length of the chord and let's try to get the solution. So <clears throat> this OP is radius of the smaller circle and AB is tangent to the smaller circle. So OP is perpendicular to AB as radius is perpendicular to tangent at the point of contact. So that means this is 90 degree and now we can use the Pythagoras theorem. So this means that this right, this is right angle triangle. So in right angle triangle OAP, we can use the Pythagoras theorem. So using Pythagoras theorem that gives us hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square as a base square. And hypotenuse is OA. So it's OA square perpendicular is either of the two sides. So it's OP square plus base is AP square. So OA is 5. And that is the radius of the larger circle. And OP is the radius of the small circle. So it's 3 square plus AP square. This gives me 25, 9, and now AP square is 25 minus 9, minus 9 is equal to 16. So AP is equal to root of 16 is equal to 4 centimeter. So this is AP, and now we know that perpendicular from the center bisects the chord, so that means that AP is equal to PB. So AB is equal to, we can write 2 times AP that gives two into four is equal to eight centimeter. And how we got this because perpendicular from center bisects the chord. So that means if perpendicular from the center bisects the chord, that means AP should be equal to PB. And if AP is four, PB is four, then AB is two times AP, so that means it's 8 centimeter. Or you can also use the same, uh, the Pythagoras theorem on the other side, that will also give us the length of the PB as 4 centimeters. So it's 4 centimeter, 4, 4 plus 4 will make 8 centimeters. So you can use either of the way, either use the perpendicular from the center bisects the chord concept, or use the same Pythagoras theorem on the triangle OPB, that will give you the exact the same answer. So do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.
Okay, so welcome once again to Pratham Science Academy classes and we are on the question number 8 of exercise 10.2 and it says that there is a quadrilateral ABCD so this is the quadrilateral ABCD it's drawn to circumscribe a circle that is all of its sides are touching uh, a point on the circle and we have to prove that AB plus CD is equal to AD plus BC. So to prove it's AB plus CD is equal to AD plus BC. And how are we going to prove this? Okay, so these all the points that is D, C, B and A, all these are the in the exterior of the circle and we know that from an external point there can be only two tangents drawn and these two tangents are of the same length for and for point c rc and cq are the tangents so this means rc is equal to cq and bq is equal to bp because these are the tangents from point b as is equal to ap these are the tangents drawn from point a and dr is equal to ds because these are the tangents drawn from the external point d and <coughs> How we are going to keep this because we know that AB, so this AB is can be broken up into AB and PB. So we will write this AP and PB on one side, that is on the RHS. So AP is equal to AS, the length of the tangent is drawn, and PB is equal to BQ and CD. Now CD is uh made up of these two segments that is RC and DR. So we will keep them on DR and RC we will keep them on the left hand side. So DR is equal to DS and RC is equal to CQ. And let's say these are our equations one, two, three and four. And reason for all this is length of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. So lengths of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. <laughs> so to get the result, let's add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. And adding these equations means LHS has to be added in the LHS of every equation. So it's AP plus PB plus DR plus RC and LHS of every equation has to be added in the, sorry, RHS of every equation has to be added in the RHS of these equations. So AS plus BQ plus DS plus CQ. <laughs> and now if we carefully watch them, AB. So AB is made up of AP plus PB. So we will just club them and it's dr plus rc dr plus rc gives us so we will club them and as as and ds so as and ds we will have to club as plus ds together and bq plus cq so bq and cq makes a bc so let's club bq plus cq so ap plus pb gives us ab and DR and RC gives us DC. So it's AB plus CD is equal to AS. So AS and DS gives us AD. And BQ and CQ gives us BC. So that proves the result. Hence, it is proved that AB plus CD is equal to AD plus DC. So that solves our question number eight. Do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Okay, so welcome to Prasam Science Academy classes. And we are on question number nine of exercise 10.2. And it says that, so what is given in the question is that, x y is parallel to x dash y dash these are two parallel tangents and uh, uh, these uh, 
the line from O that meets this x, y in A and from A to B uh, in on x, y, y dash from O and we have joined A, B. So that is one more tangent that has the endpoints on x, y and x dash, y dash and the point of contact as C. So <clears throat> we have to prove that angle O, A, B is 90 degrees. So angle O, A, B, that's 90 degree we have to prove. So this is the angle. And for this, let's join uh, O, C. So join O to C and let's name these angles as 1, 2, 3 and 4. So for OAB to be 90 degrees, let's see how we can prove that. And because we have done only two theorems in this chapter, so we may try to make best use of them. So <clears throat> first and foremost is OP is perpendicular to XY and OQ is perpendicular to x, y dash, reason being radius is perpendicular to tangent at the point of contact. Okay, so that means that this angle P and angle Q, angle P is 90 degree, okay, I have so OP is perpendicular to XY and OC is perpendicular to AB because radius is perpendicular to tangent at the point of contact. And now we will move to these triangles that is PO, uh, it's not P, it's POA and triangle COA. So in this angle P is equal to angle C is equal to 90 degree each. <coughs> and P Y it's A P is equal to A C, so A P is equal to A C because these are tangents drawn from an external point to a circle. So tangents drawn from an end external point to a circle are equal. So A P is equal to A C. Angle P is equal to angle C is equal to 90 degree. OA is equal to OA common. So once again, it's the right hand, right, uh, it's a RHS rule. So this is the right triangle. This is the hypotenuse. And uh, <coughs> this is the side, or this is the side. PA is equal to AC. So right angle hypotenuse right angle hypotenuse at one side so this gives us that we can say by rhs conference rule this triangle poa is congruent to triangle coa and if these triangles are congruent then angle this aop angle aop and angle AOE, AOC, and I have given one and two name to them. So this is angle one, this is angle two. So this is angle one is equal to angle two because these are the cross corresponding parts of the uh, congruent triangles. Similarly, in the same way, we can prove that this angle, this is angle three and angle four are equal. So similarly, we can prove that these two triangles are equal and angle three should be angle two. Angle three should be equal to angle four. That will also be seen in the corresponding parts of the congruent triangles. So these are, let's say these are the set of equations one and two. Now, if we add one plus two plus three plus four, this gives us 180 degree because these angles lie on the line POQ. So we can say that POQ is a straight line and these angles lie on it. Now one is equal to two. So this was angle one. Let me just clear it. Okay. So this was my angle one and this was two and this was three and this was four. So angle one was equal to angle two. So instead of one, I can write angle 2 and leave 2 as it is and angle 3 
So angle 3 is equal to angle 4. So instead of 4, I can write 3. So I will leave 3 as it is. Instead of 4, I can write 3. So 2 times angle 2 and 2 times angle 3. So 2 times angle 2 and 2 times angle 3. So plus 2 times angle 3 will give us 180 degree. So this is 180 degree, not 2 times angle 2. It's 2 is common, so it's 180 degree. Now angle 2 plus angle 3, angle 2 plus angle 3, when club together, give us angle AOB. So that means it's 2 times angle AOB is 90 degree. So angle AOB is, sorry, it's not 90 degree, it's 180 now. And now it's divided by 2, which gives us 190 degree. And that's what exactly we need. So angle o, a, a, o, B is 90 degree. And hence, we have proved this. Okay, so this is also question number 9. Do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Okay, so welcome to Prism Science Academy classes and we are on to question number 10 of exercise 10.2 and it says that we have to prove the angle between two tangents drawn from an external point to a circle. So let's say this is the circle and there are two tangents drawn from external point to the circle. So let's say this is point P. And there are two tangents drawn from an external point to a circle. This is these are the two tangents. So let the length of the tangents to the circle be PQ and PR. So angle between two tangents is this one. And let's say this is the center of the circle. And let's join the point of contact to the centers. Okay, so these are the two radiuses, radii, sorry. And uh, we have to prove the angle between the two tangents. This is this one. So <clears throat> What we have to prove is that angle QPR plus is supplementary to the angle supplemented by the line segment joining the points of contact. So line segment joining the point of contact is this, and this subtends angle QOR at the center. So line joining the point of contact subtends this angle at the center so this is the angle so that means qpr plus angle qor has to be proved that they are supplementary and we know that the supplementary angles are two angles whose sum is 180 degree so that's what we have to do and coming on to prove so first and foremost is oq is parallel to pq OR is parallel to PR because OQ and OR are the radius and PQ and PR are tangents. And we know that radius is perpendicular to tangent at the point of contact. Okay, excuse me. Okay. Now, so that means that these angles are 90 degree each. So angle Q is equal to angle R is equal to 90 degree. <clears throat> and now in quadrilateral P, Q, O, R, angle Q plus angle Q, O, R plus angle R plus angle angle q p r is equal to 360 degree because that is the angle sum <clears throat> property of a quadrilateral now q and r are 90 degree each so 90 plus angle q r plus 90 this is 90 degree sorry so this is 90 degree plus angle QPR is equal to 360 degree. So 90 plus 90 is 180 and angle QR plus angle QPR is equal to 360 degree. So QR plus angle QPR is 
360 minus 180 is equal to 180 degree. So that's what we have to prove that the angle between the tangents and the angle supplemented by the line segment joining the point of cortex at the center is supplementary. So these are the two angles QOR and QPR is equal to 180 degree. And that's also on question number 10. Thank you for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. Yes, welcome to Pratham Science Academy classes and we are on to question number 11, exercise 10.2. And we have to prove that parallelogram circumscribing a circle is a rhombus. So what does it mean that there is a parallelogram? So let's say this is a parallelogram ABCD and it's circumscribing a circle. So that means all of the circle inside it and the circle is touching all of these four sides. So this is how it is. And the name of this parallelogram is A, B, C, D. And we have to show that it's a rhombus. So that means it exactly is somewhat like this. So we have to prove that this is a rhombus. Okay, now it's given. So what is given is that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Parallelogram means opposite sides are equal and parallel. Opposite angles are equal. Okay, so let's say this is touching this uh the parallelogram or the common point for the for the circle and the parallelogram are uh, along its four sides r p u r and s so we have to prove that a b sorry a b c d is a rhombus so how we can prove that a b c d is a rhombus that means all of its sides uh, if they are equal so that is we have to prove that a b is equal to c d is equal to sorry a b is equal to b c is equal to c d is equal to d a that's what we have to prove and <clears throat> so let's move on to the proof part okay so now this A is a external point for this circle and these are the length of the tangents a b and a s so that means AS is equal to AP. Similarly, D is an external point and DS and DR are the length of the tangents. So that means DS is equal to DR. And once again, C is an external point, length of the tangents are RC and CQ. So RC is equal to CQ and this BQ is equal to BP. So I will write here, uh, <clears throat> QC, so it's uh, PB is equal to BQ. And let's say these are four set of equations. And the reason for all this is length of tangents drawn from external point to a circle R equal okay so now if we add them so how are we gonna add them is by adding the lhs of every equation to the lhs of other equations so this how we are going to add it so as it's as plus ds plus rc plus pb is equal to ap plus dr plus cq plus bq so add what is in the lhs to the next equation next equation next equation and add lhs of every equations so we are here and now as and ds it gives us ad so as and ds can be clubbed and rc and pb rc and pb is not what we were supposed to write so it's as and ds as is equal to ab ds is equal to dr and instead of 
RC, it should be, let me just interchange them. I will just interchange them. Okay, so instead of it's AS and DS, so it should be QC. So QC is equal to RC and BQ is equal to PB. So that we can club QC and BQ. So it's QC and BQ here. And it's APDR and it's RC and PB here. So it's RC plus PB here. So QC plus BQ can be clubbed. And DR and DR and RC can be clubbed. So AS plus DS. AS plus DS gives us AD. And QC plus BQ gives us BC. So it gives us BC and DR plus RC. DR plus RC gives us CD and AP plus PB. So AP plus PB gives us AB. So this is how it is. Okay, now, because this is a parallelogram, so AD is equal to BC and AD is equal to BC and CD is equal to AB. Reason being opposite sides of a parallelogram, ABCD is a parallelogram. So opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. That's what we know about parallelogram. So this is AD. So instead of BC, I can write AD because it's equal to AD. And uh, instead of CD, I can write AB because it's equal to AB, so it's AD plus AD, so two times AD is equal to two times it's AB, so two times AB. So AD is equal to AB, but, so this gives that AD is equal to AB, so I will just write it down, so AD is equal to AB, so these are the two adjacent sides of a parallelogram. so AD is equal to AB, <laughs> but AD is equal to BC and AB is equal to CD, so that means that all the sides are equal, but AD was equal to BC and CD was equal to AB, so all these gives us that AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA, so that means that is AB, CD is a, was a parallelogram with all sides equal makes it a uh, rhombus. So A, B, C, D is a rhombus as all of its sides are equal. And this solves our question number 11. Do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Welcome to Prasam Science Academy classes once again and we are on to question number 12 of exercise 10.2. See that triangle ABC is drawn to circumscribe a circle. Okay. So there is a triangle ABC and it's drawn to circumscribe a circle. That is, it's touching the circle. All of its three sides are touching the circle. And BD and BC. Uh, it's it's uh, it's this circle that's circumscribing a uh, triangle is drawn to circumscribe a circle of radius four centimeters. So this is four centimeter. The radius is four centimeter, and it's also given that the segments BD and DC, where this radius is drawn, D is the point of contact. So BC is like a tangent, where D is the point of contact, or where the OD is drawn. Uh, these segments BD and DC are 6 and 8 centimeter. We have to find the sides AB and AB and AC. So we have to find the sides AB and AC. That's what we have to find. Okay, so these are not equal. So we have to find AB as well as we have to find AC. So before that, we jump to the solution of this question. Let's join these. Uh, join O to B, join O to C, join O to A, and also draw the radius to the point of contacts. 
and we will just name them so i'm going to name them it's a b c d let's say it's e and f so o a uh, sorry o e o f and o d are the radius so it's four, they are four centimeter each let me just label them so i have joined so join o to a o to what b o to o to a o to b o to okay so that's what we have to join and after that let's draw o e perpendicular to if if we join this point of contact it will obviously be perpendicular so let ef be the point of contact so once again we will join or let me just write it down let e and f be points of contact of ac and ab sides of triangle and after that we can join o to e and o to f so it's o to e and o to f now o e O E is equal to O D is equal to O F is equal to four centimeter each because there are radii of same circle. So let's see how we are going to solve this. And you now because O C O D and O F are radii, so that means that these angles are ninety degree. So we can say O D is perpendicular to B C. OE is perpendicular to AC and OF is perpendicular to AB. So this is radius is perpendicular to tangent at the point of contact. Now, so now these are perpendiculars and so now ec is equal to c is an external point for the circle and ec and ed ec and cd both should be equal to six centimeter so this is also six centimeter b is an external point bf and bd are the length of the tangents drawn from an external point so bd is equal to bf bd is also equal to bf is equal to eight centimeter because these are the tangents drawn from external point to a circle they are equal okay so now we are left with a so let a is equal to f if a is equal to x then a will also be x so let a is equal to x so this implies a is equal to af is equal to x centimeter because these are also the tangents drawn from external point to a circle are equal okay now if we look at this the triangle abc it is made up of these triangles aoc aob and boc so if i have to find out its area it should be the sum of these triangles aoc boc and aob so i will just write down it its area of triangle abc would be the sum of the area of triangle aoc so this is area of triangle AOC and AOB and BOC. So AOB plus BOC. So if I add the area of these triangles, that should give me the area of triangle AOC. So ABC and AOC. So area of triangle AOC, O is perpendicular and this is this side is X plus six. So AC is X plus six so we can use half into base into height is oe 
So here once again for triangle AOB, AB is the base, so it's X plus 8 and OF is the height. So half into AB into OF and for BOC, for BOC, BC is the base and OD, so it's BC into OD. Now half into AC. <laughs> AC is X plus 6. X plus 6 into 4. O is 4. And AB. AB is X plus 8. So it's X plus 8 into 4. OF is 4. Half into BC is 8 plus 6 is 14. Into OD is 4. So it's 2 to the 4. 2 to the 4. 2 to the 4. And this gives me 2 into X plus 6 plus 2 into x plus 8 plus 28. So this is 2x plus 12 plus 2x plus 16 plus 28. So 2x plus 2x is 4x and 12 plus 16 is 28. 28 plus 28 is 56 centimeters square is the area of triangle ABC. So in order to find the the value of x we will have to equate this equation to something else so i'm going to find the area of the triangle abc using the heron's formula so this is r abc and this side is x plus 6 this is x plus 8 so this was x plus 6 x plus 8 and 14. it's 14 centimeter x plus 8 centimeter and x plus 6 centimeter so let me try to find the area of this triangle it's a b c it's actually b is here so i have drawn it here so that i don't have to move upward again and again so now the opposite to this is our a that is 14 next to b is the next to b vertex b is x plus 6 and c is obviously the one that is left x plus 8 centimeter and now <clears throat> let's find out the semi perimeter so a plus b plus c by 2 that gives us 14 plus x plus x is 2x plus 8 plus 6 is 14 so that gives me 2x plus 28 by 2 so 2 is common so it's x plus 14 by 2 so this is x plus 14 centimeter is the <coughs> semi perimeter okay. and so we know that uh, if we use the Heron's formula, so area of triangle ABC can be written as S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C that is under root. So S is X plus 14 into x plus 14 minus a a is 14 next one is x plus 14 minus b b is x plus 6 so if i write that in the bracket and it's x plus 14 minus c c is x plus 8 x plus 8 the whole thing is under root okay so now it's x plus 14 into x and if I open up this bracket, it's x plus 14 minus x minus 6. It's x plus 14 minus x minus 8. The whole thing is under root. So this is x and x gets cancelled. x and x gets cancelled. We are left with x plus 14 into x into 14 minus 6 is 8. And 14 minus 8 is 6 under root. <laughs> Sorry. 8 into 6 is 48x into x plus 14 under root. 
So this is the area of the triangle, A, B, C. So we have used, we have uh, <clears throat> determined the area of the triangle A, B, C using two methods. And which one you use, the area should remain the same. So from one and two. So this is the equation one and this is the equation two. So equation one says its area of triangle is 4x plus 56. Equation two says area of triangle is 48x into x plus 14, the whole thing under root. And these two are equated now. So 4 is common here. So it's x plus 14 under root 48x into x plus 14. And we know how to take off the square root. Just square on both sides. So square on both sides means 4x plus 14, the whole square. And this is 48x into x plus 14 under root, the whole square. Square root gets cancelled with square. Square of 4 is 16 and x plus 14 the whole square. Uh, just give the square to both these terms and it's 48x into x plus 14. So it's 2 times x plus 14. So it's x plus 14 into x plus 14 is equal to 48x into x plus 14. This gets cancelled. And it's 16 into x plus 14 is equal to 48x. So 16, 3 are 48. So x plus 14 is equal to 3x. So this moves to this side. So it's 3x minus x is equal to 14. 2x is equal to 14. x is equal to 7. So when x is equal to 7, so x is now 7. So this is 7. So that means ab. So now ab is... That's what we have to find. So AB is 7 plus 6. So 7 plus 6 is equal to 13 centimeter. And AC is 7 plus 8. So 7 plus 8 is equal to 15 centimeter. So these are the values of A and B. So AB is 13, 7 plus 6. And it's 7 plus 8 is 15. So that's all. So our question number 12. Do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. So welcome to Pratham Science Academy classes and we are on to the final question of exercise 10.2 and it says that we have to prove the opposite sides of a quadrilateral circumscribing a circle. So there is a quadrilateral that's circumscribing a circle. So let's draw the quadrilateral first. So let's say this is the quadrilateral and which is circumscribing a circle. So I will just sketch a rough figure for this so this is the quadrilateral let's say it's a b c and d and it's circumscribing a circle so it's touching the circle at points p q r and s let's say o is the center and let me join these with o q let me join the all the point of contact and the vertices of the quadrilateral with the center of the circle okay so i'm going to label these angles these are one two three and four and five six and seven and eight okay so this is how fig uh, our figure is and let's move on to what we have to prove so it says that we have to prove that the opposite sides of a quadrilateral subtend supplementary angles at the center. So the opposite sides are BC and AD, and these are sub subtending angles AOD. Or let me take the sides AB and DC, and the angle subtended by them at the center is angle AOB, and then its opposite side is DC. Angle subtended by it is DOC. So COD. We have to prove that they are supplementary means their their sum should be one eighty. Similarly, we have to prove that angle AOD plus angle BOC is equal to 180 degrees. That's, that's also we have to prove. And moving on to the proof part. 
let's consider these two ang uh, angles, sorry, in triangles. So triangle is POB plus BOQ. It's not plus, it's N. So in triangle POB and BOQ, so OP is equal to OQ radii. These are the radii of same circle and OP is equal to OB is common and OP is this angle P is equal to angle Q both of this being 90 degree each so that means <coughs> so these are the radii of same circle so OP is equal to OB common angle P is equal to angle Q is equal to 90 degree each because OP and OQ are the radius and these are radius is perpendicular to tangent. So radius is perpendicular to tangent and the point of at the point of contact. So that means that they are perpendicular by R H S. So not perpendicular congruent. So triangle P O B is congruent to triangle B O Q by R H S congruence now because they are congruent so that means angle one should be equal to angle q because they are congruent parts of congruent triangle so i will just write c p c t similarly we can prove that in other triangles these two we can prove that angle three is equal to angle four and angle five is equal to angle six same way and angle seven is equal to angle eight eight if we prove that their corresponding triangles are congruent so this will give us this so let's say these are the equations one two three and four now if we add all these angles that will make a complete angle so that is angle one plus two plus three plus angle four plus angle five plus angle six plus angle 7 plus angle 8 is, is this makes up 360 degree so this is 360 degree because these are angles at a point which makes up a complete angle now uh, what we will do for we will keep these angles 1 and 8 5 and 4 and replace 2 3 7 and 6 so 1 is equal to 2 so instead of two, I can write one. So this can be replaced by one. Three is equal to four. I will just keep four, replace three with four. So angle four plus four. Angle five and six are equal. I will keep five. So keep five, replace six with five. Angle seven and eight are equal. Replace seven with eight. Keep eight. Okay, now all these are two times so two times angle one two times angle four plus two times angle five and two times angle eight gives us 360 degree two is common so angle one plus angle four plus and five and eight so it's angle five plus angle eight is equal to 360 degree two can be striked off it's 180 now angle one and eight can be clubbed sorry so this is angle of club is one and eight so angle one plus eight and angle four plus angle five so these are equal to 180 and one plus angle eight makes aob so it's angle aob plus four and five four and five gives us angle cod so this is angle cod which gives us 180 degree okay so angle aob plus angle cod is 180 degree so these are the angles separated by the opposite sides aob and cod similarly in this if we keep the angles instead of one we can keep two instead of four we can keep three yeah. instead of five we can keep six instead of eight we can keep seven that will also give us this that will also give us the second result AOD plus POC. So 
instead of doing all this again we can write similarly angle AOD plus BOC can be proved supplementary so this is the result that we were looking for so hence it is proved that the angles obtained by the opposite sides at the center of a circle subscribing it uh, are supplementary. So that's all. So our question number 13. Do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.